Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story Head in the Clouds Everyone was always telling Sophie what she could and couldn't do. They said she was a dreamer, that her head was in the clouds, and she needed to get back down to earth. What they didn't know was that Sophie was working hard to try and make her dreams a reality. Sophie left school at the age of 16 with eight GCSEs and little motivation. She had been bullied at school and lacked confidence. She didn't know what she wanted to do. She got an apprenticeship at a local factory and worked her way up to be a mechanical engineer. She was exceptionally good at her job, but it wasn't her passion. She felt like she was stuck in the same town, seeing the same faces, and her life wasn't going anywhere. Little did her family and friends know that for the last few years, she had been hatching a plan. Sophie tried to save as much of her wages as she could. After a few months, she had enough money to buy herself a camera and some art equipment. Art had always been her passion and was the one lesson she always got A's in at school. She decided to secretly make videos of herself drawing various things. She soon came to realise that her most popular paintings and drawings were the hyper-realism ones. She drew celebrities and animals. Sometimes she would draw a beautiful sunset. She layered relaxing music over the top of her videos and they soon became quite popular. Her parents never clocked on as to what she was doing in her bedroom. They knew she was painting, but they didn't realise she was creating online content too. She gained followers on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube and soon the commissions came flying in. She also started to get companies contacting her and asking if she would be interested in using their equipment for free. All of a sudden, people were interested in her and her work. During the day, she was Sophie, the apprentice mechanical engineer. But by night, she was Sophie, the amazing artist. Sophie started to make longer videos where she gave tutorials about how she drew. All the while, Sophie was earning a side income from the channels she let the money mount up in an additional account and didn't look at it. She hired an accountant and they sorted out her taxes for her. She felt very fortunate, but at the same time, she had worked incredibly hard for this. Sophie was working towards trying to give herself some financial freedom away from her parents. Now she was 23, 
She wanted to move away and explore the world. Having her art could be the gateway to her living the life of a digital nomad. Her long-term goal was to open some sort of course or class where she could teach people in person how to do what she does. Sophie's talent, in some ways, comes from a sad place. When she was bullied at school, she would hide away in the art room so she could paint and draw in peace. From her loneliness and deep sadness came an amazing talent. These days, Sophie is no longer bullied. The group of kids who tormented her had now moved on and, hopefully, grown up. A couple had reached out to her and apologised for their behaviour, but it didn't take away her pain. Now Sophie has new friends from work and she's even met friends online who have similar channels to her. She feels grateful that she can now share her passions with people instead of hiding away in a cold classroom and practising different shading techniques. As Sophie's artistry and channel empire slowly grow, so do her dreams. Her family may think she has her head in the clouds, but when she tells them what she's been up to, they're going to be shocked, pleased, and most of all, proud. Now, let's go through some vocabulary from the story. Let's start with a couple of idioms. Head in the clouds. To have your head in the clouds means to be thinking your own thoughts and not concentrating on what is around you. To come back down to earth. To come back down to earth means to start dealing with life and problems again, usually after you've had quite an exciting time. To hatch a plan. To hatch a plan. This means to make a plan, especially a secret one. To clock on. To clock on. This phrasal verb has a couple of meanings, but in the story it means to realise something, to clock on to something. To sort out. To sort out means to deal successfully with a problem, situation or person who is perhaps having some difficulties. Bully. To bully. To bully is to hurt or frighten someone, usually over a certain period of time and often forcing that person to do or say something that they don't want to do. To bully is not a nice thing to do. Empire. Empire. An empire, as in the story, is a very large and important business or organisation. Exceptionally. Exceptionally is in a way that is much greater than usual, especially in skill, intelligence or quality. Loneliness. Loneliness. Loneliness is the state of being lonely. Additional. Additional. Additional means extra. Commission. Commission. In the story, commission means to formally choose someone to do a special piece of work or to formally ask for a special piece of work from someone. So in the story, Sophie receives commissions for artwork, so people are asking her to make special pieces of art for them. Fortune. 
fortunate. Fortunate. If you are fortunate, you're lucky. Income. Income. Income is money that is earned from doing work or received from investments. Mechanical. Mechanical. If something is mechanical, it is operated by a machine or is connected with machines. Passion. Passion. Passion is a strong feeling. Talent. Talent. Talent is a natural ability to be good at something, especially without being taught it. Also with passion, in the story, we talk about how Sophie is passionate about her artwork. It's a positive feeling. She has a strong feeling. It's something that she loves to do. Realise. To realise. To realise is to understand a situation, sometimes quite suddenly, which leads us then on to sudden. Sudden. Sudden means something happens or is done quickly and without warning. So if you realise something suddenly, it means you understand something quite quickly. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. See you soon!